Hi, this is Charles Hoskinson broadcasting live from warm, sunny Colorado. Always warm, always sunny, sometimes Colorado. It's good to be back in the office. And you know what? I had a lovely time in Miami. I was noisy and lots of people running around and way too much skin. And I tried to spend most of my time reading a book from Alex, Alexis Burgess on truth. And I never had the opportunity to do that, but I did spend about $30 for a coconut drink that had rum in it. And I was very happy with my coconut rum. Okay, so uh, some housekeeping. Picked up a lovely new book uh, from Samuel uh, Mimram. It's a program and proof. And it's actually a book that kind of introduces the Curry Howard correspondence. And it teaches you how to write software in both OCaml, but oddly ACTA. Usually you see that paired with cock. And I can't wait to look at it and send Samuel a loving note. Okay, so the purpose of this video is to, if Elon is actually serious about rebuilding Doge with his elite ninja engineers over at Tesla, which I have no doubt he has great programmers there, uh, here's how you do it. So let me share my screen because I got some great papers here and it's going to be fun. You guys ready? Wah! Okay, let's start with the engine. Uh, right now, Doge operates on a pretty shitty Nakamoto consensus style with script engine because I think it's a fork of Litecoin. So let's tear that out and put something in. Prism is an, probably the best and fastest proof of work protocol on market right now. And if you put it into a Bitcoin style system, uh, you can get about 10,000 transactions per second. It's written by an all-star team, promote Ms. Swanath over at Urbana Champagne. You got people at CMU, Stanford, University of Washington, and I, we really like David as well. David Shee is a great guy. So Prism is a phenomenal protocol. We've implemented it ourselves in Scala and uh, highly recommend looking through it. It's a beautiful paper that talks about trade-off. Okay, so it's not good enough just build an engine. Uh, you know, the whole point of Litecoin being based on script was to be ASIC resistant, right? Well, then you need an ASIC resistant algorithm. And actually, this one's really cool. It's called HashCore. Uh, and I'll just uh, read off some of the abstract. For the past five years, the rewards associated with mining proof-of-work blockchains have increased substantially. As a result, miners are heavily incentivized to design and utilize ASICs that can compute hashes far more efficiently than existing general-purpose hardware. Currently, it is difficult for most users to purchase and operate ASICs. So the point of this paper is basically to come up with a really cool way of getting around them. So in order to achieve this, we present HashCore, a proof-of-work function composed of widgets generated pseudo-randomly at runtime that each execute a sequence of general-purpose uh, processor instructions designed to stress the computational resources. And so it's really hard to actually build an ASIC against this. And what I like about it is made by electrical engineers. So you can also look at some beautiful theory. And this is from Dan Bonet, who's probably one of the top cryptographers in the world, over at Stanford, and it's called balloon hashing a memory hard function providing provable protection against sequential attacks. So this is another primitive that one can use while discussing the notion of ASIC resistance. Are we done yet? No, we got this concept of difficulty control in blockchain systems. And this is a paper written by some IOHK alums, Dmitry Meshkov and Alex Chirpinoy. And basically it talks a bit about how to have a much better way of doing difficulty retargeting. Because if you're going to a new type of proof of work with a completely new system that shards things and runs at 10,000 TPS, you need to think about difficulty targeting. Okay, are we done yet? No, we need to change the block structure. So in the header, put coded Merkle trees. This helps you a lot, especially when paired with, uh, here we go, NIPAPALs, non-interactive proofs of proof of work. These two things together in a proof of work system give you a beautiful path for extremely efficient like clients as well as a great primitive for side chains. Then you have mining and logarithmic space. This is a new one, actually. Real sexy, really exciting paper by Agalos and Nico Leonardis and Dionysus uh, Zindros. And this is basically saying you don't need the blockchain to mine the blockchain. Imagine that. Prism, 10,000 TPS, don't need no blockchain. You got beautiful side chains, no data availability issues, your light clients are there, and then you have a new way of doing difficulty retargeting, sort of the old crappy stuff that they do in Nakamoto consensus, and you got two very good paths to pursue for ASIC resistance to replace script. Then 
we have to put a good scripting language in because Doge is not programmable. And let's get some smart contracts for UTXO model. Uh, and not going down the crazy road we went down with Cardano, which would be too much for your guys. I think what the Ergo guys have done is absolutely phenomenal. And there's a lovely paper on Ergo script, uh, non interactive, zero knowledge proofs uh, supported with Ergo script. And there's all these great little papers here about Sigma protocols and so forth. And there's actual code running live right now on Ergo. You guys would love it. Now, another thing. The network stack of Doge is old and ossified, so go ahead and read this beautiful paper. It's an SOK paper. SOK papers are roll-ups of all of the latest and greatest in knowledge, and it was written by Aviz Zahar, who's a wonderful guy. He was the guy that did um, Spectre and Phantom and Ghost and all those other uh, directed acyclic graph protocols to accelerate proof of work. And then you got some Definity guys. You got some people in Switzerland. You got some people in Vienna. Uh, and this really takes you through the latest and greatest of all the different network stacks on market, trade-offs, and various things to know. So you guys can figure out your head from your ass on how to handle the network side and make it better because this boy right here is going to put some major strain and you can't just throw secure Kademli on it. Are we done yet? No. Come on. Let's keep going. Let's take a look what NIST is doing. Recommendations for stateful hash-based signatures. Why? Because Doge should be quantum resistant, right? And you got some great things like Macaulay's signature scheme, LMS, or extended Merkel signature schemes, or you got HSS, or actually the new multi-tree XMSS. You have a blockchain, you can put a stateful-based hash signature scheme. It's becoming a NIST standard, and that means that you are quantum resistant. And then you have Blake 3, because why be with an old shitty hash algorithm? This is the age of Doge. So let's go ahead and put a better hash algorithm in. And the best guy around for hash algorithms is Zuko. And he created Blake 3. Makes MDM, uh, it makes MD5 and SHA-2 and SHA-3 look like a sack of shit. So highly recommend this. So there you go. And just a few easy steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, that doesn't count. Eight, nine, 10, 11. You guys are off to the horses running and making Doge better for everyone inside this space. 10,000 TPS, you get some quantum resistance. You'll be able to figure out a network stack that will meet your needs and satisfy your urges. You'll have programmability. Look at that. You can finally do smart contracts on Doge and have all those Doge-related applications. You don't need the blockchain to mine. How about that? You get side chains. You get some cool stuff for light clients. And then, of course, you'll have a much more reasonable difficulty system, retargeting system, and you're ASIC resistant. This is a fun paper. So I hope this is helpful for the Doge community and for Elon, and I wish him the best of luck in rebuilding that cryptocurrency with his super elite engineers, which I have no doubt he has, as he's one of the world's richest men. Thank you truly for entering our space, and thank you truly for telling everybody that you're going to take custody of that cryptocurrency and make sure it gets where it needs to go. And I look forward to seeing the great innovations you guys come out with in a year or two. Cheers.